the human placenta plays a pivotal role in the development and growth of the fetus. Disorder of this multifunctional organ is central to various fetal disorders. Doppler sonography and MRI provide excellent diagnostic evaluation of the placental morphology and umbilical cord. Decades of experience in obstetric imaging have highlighted the need of careful prenatal assessment of placenta. However, in most of the routine obstetric scans, the evaluation and reporting of the placental examination is limited to the location and grade of the placenta. The placenta is an organ that develops in the uterus during pregnancy. The placenta is a vital organ with multiple functions, such as endocrine, immune, and physiological. The placenta begins to form after a fertilized egg implants in your uterus around 7 to 10 days after conception. It continues to grow throughout your pregnancy to support your baby. The placenta starts as a few cells and grows to be several inches long. It then continues to form gradually during the first three months of pregnancy, while, after the fourth month, it grows parallel to the development of the uterus. Once completed, it resembles a spongy disc 20 cm in diameter and 3 cm thick. It is a temporary organ, whose genetic characteristics are identical to those of the developing child. The placenta interacts with the environment in which it is present, and vice versa. Proper development of the placenta is essential for a successful pregnancy. There are several layers of tissue that make up this delicate organ that need to develop normally for proper function during gestation. Without proper function, there can be devastating consequences to the pregnancy. The placenta is a fetal organ made up of its parenchyma, chorion, amnion, and umbilical cord. The fetal structures form from the zygote and therefore separate the fetus from the endometrium. It plays critical roles in facilitating nutrient, gas and waste exchange between the physically separate maternal and fetal circulations, and is an important endocrine organ, producing hormones that regulate both maternal and fetal physiology during pregnancy. The placenta connects to the fetus via the umbilical cord and on the opposite aspect to the maternal uterus in a species-dependent manner. In humans, a thin layer of maternal decidual, endometrial, tissue comes away with the placenta when it is expelled from the uterus following birth, sometimes incorrectly referred to as the maternal part of the placenta. The placenta attaches to the wall of the uterus, and the baby's umbilical cord arises from it. The organ is usually attached to the top, side, front or back of the uterus. In rare cases, the placenta might attach in the lower area of the uterus. When this happens, it's called a low-lying placenta, placenta previa. The placenta is often overlooked in the routine evaluation of a normal gestation, receiving attention only when an abnormality is detected, although uncommon. The placenta may be visualized as early as 6 weeks by transvaginal sonography and 10 weeks transabdominally. It first appears as a focally thickened, hyperechogenic rim of tissue around the gestational sac that is clearly separate from the myometrium. It is quite distinct and easily identifiable at 14 to 15 weeks, and the intervillous blood flow may be documented using color Doppler. Sonography remains the imaging modality of choice for evaluation of the placenta. Sonographically, the placenta is a thickened echogenic rim of tissue surrounding the gestational sac. The placenta in the first and early second trimesters appears homogeneous in texture and mildly hyperechoic, compared with the underlying myometrium. It then becomes more isochoic with advancing gestation. As examples, after mid-pregnancy, it is common to identify small placental senolucencies. And in the third trimester, the placenta may appear more heterogeneous, with visible calcifications. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Please press subscribe for updates each time a video is uploaded. Sub